Include the musical group Barney Out Oddities, and the Just Plays from O Crew travels to the state's oldest educational radio station nearing their 50th anniversary. And me, I'm your guest announcer and also the Bill's president of South Elgin, Rick Zerk. Now let's go to Just Place. Yeah. Yeah. How did I not expect that? There, that was well rehearsed. That was our New Year's show. We made the millennium. Did everything turn out in South Elgin all right? Are those millennium wise? I yeah, don't like to problems at all, I don't nope. think. Good. We, we tried to throw leaves, but they were all burned. <laughs> so there you have it. We're as topical as yesterday's courier. We have a chance uh, to get a chance to talk it over with Rick Zerk is what we're going to do in the first uh -huh. part. He's the village manager. Or the mayor. Or the mayor. Or the Honorable Rick Zerk of South Elgin, one of our favorite cities. Also, or we're going to have president. a... Yeah? Or the president. Or the president, I'm sorry. Never been the manager. I'm making up, I'm making up new words. Never been the manager. You've never been the manager? <laughs> no. My show notes indicate that. We also have a South Elgin quiz. And you know who's here to make sure that everything's correct is Gary Hyman. Yeah, trustee Gary Hyman is here. He's standing up now and taking a bow. A round of applause for Gary. Also in South Elgin, the first part of the show is South Elgin, then Barnyard Oddities, oh, the musical group. They are really good. And you know what? What? Not only did they give you a CD, they gave me one too. Actually, yours right there. Oh, I know. Sorry. You broke yours. So we'll talk with those guys a little bit. And uh, the radio station is actually WEPS. We're going to get a chance to go to. Oh. They will celebrate their 50th anniversary. The wow. oldest educational radio station in the state of Illinois. That was the year you Rick was born, wasn't Elgin? it? Yeah, we went to Elgin. <laughs> it was a remote trip. Kids at home. Well, let's get back to Rick Zerk. Because we're we're proud of the village of South Elgin, of course, and and we're proud that that you're allowed to come on our show and have Lydia, atmosphere Lydia, throw all kinds of confetti your way. <laughs> yeah. Our girl Lydia, she's yeah. Now, what is familiar. that? Is that a uh, baseball uh, jersey underneath Pretty there? Much. What does that say? Kid Rock. Oh. Yeah. Nobody else knows what this well, means. Yeah, we don't know what that means, and you're you're a respected uh, village president, so. You know that. So, anything going on in the city? Uh, first of all, I wanted to tell the folks at home, Christmas on the Fox, a new restaurant that's opened up just prior to our taping, is a wonderful addition to the, the village of South Elgin right along the Fox. That's a great place. Jeff was uh, there when the, the facility opened, and uh, a couple of our village trustees and village manager were there. And it's a great addition to town. It's a uh, type of restaurant we've not had before. And it, uh, it's a, actually a resident of our town has opened the store. So it's great. Well, that's nice. Four year resident, and it was his dream to. It's not only uh, Christmas on the Fox, it's also in the warmer weather. It's themed where you'll have Christmas fun outside as well. Oh, that sounds and really nice. There's a big nice. Santa looking at you. Oh, really? Yeah, there, 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 well, there's a jerk looking at us right there. <laughs> He's the big, you play the big Santa, don't you? Pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> well, you put a beard on him. The, Look that, at that. Not me. No, let's just put it like this the uniform fits. Yeah, that, well said. <laughs> All right, do you have anything you'd like to tell? You're, uh, again, you're the highest ranking official with such close concept to uh, the uh, program called Jeff's Place. I said that well, didn't I? Yeah, I think he's been on the most, hasn't he? Yeah, well, I don't know about that. But, but you're proud of this, aren't you? This is not a big build-up just for the sake of hearing me speak. Oh, this is like the high point of my week. All right, well, that there. <laughs> Setting it sincerely, I like that. All right, now I have a, do you have any more questions? No, I'd like to see if he knows what's on there. We have with Gary Hyman, these, he actually had these hidden in his mayonnaise jar on his front porch <laughs> for the past fortnight, he told us. We have quiz, actually, they come our way from the South Elgin Economic Development. We have quizzes, and Gary, you can pipe in from the distance. Gary Hyman off stage. Some of the questions about South Elgin. Are you ready? Oh, absolutely. Do you want to be a millionaire? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Final answer? Not bad enough to do yeah. this again. Or we can call it greed. I don't know what we would call that. I'm looking at, and this is again coming to you semi-live here on Jeff's Place, the average rainfall for your fair village is how many inches? I have no idea. Gary Hyman? Gary Hyman, we go to you. Liz Cusper? Uh, 26.3 inches. Oh, so close. 31.72 inches is the average rainfall yearly now, not all at once. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> this went well in rehearsal. Your, your current uh, population is what in South Elgin? Uh, 14,900. That goes up daily. Gary Hyman, we check with you. My publication says 13901, but again, that's before you put those 18,000 houses in 12 square feet <laughs> <laughs> just last week. I know how that works. That oh, far yeah. west is, is close. Mm -hmm. And we also have a chance. How about the average winter temperature in an average year? This is an all warmer year. These were suggested by listeners at home, not by me. Viewers. What listeners at home? <laughs> I know. <laughs> the ones flipping through, you know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> On their way to A&E and Bill Curtis for something. You're pretty Tw melting. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I am. I've seen that Wizard of Oz. 24.15 degrees. That's your average winter temperature. The quiz. That's the good stuff. Yes, it is. <laughs> Be looking for this television show coming your way at a, a network near you. And is that your final answer? Yes, final answer. And uh, anything else you want to ask here? You got some good ones here. All right. Well, okay, but it will actually. No, I don't. You don't. We'll give you that then. <laughs> well, let's. Since we've last chatted with you, tell me about what's going on that you'd like the folks to hear about in, in South Elgin. The, the leaf burning thing that we talked about, and had fun with, but you're progressing. You're expanding all the time. I think you got a new 7-Eleven coming, don't you? Uh, the Sicko 7-Eleven opened. Uh, Oscar Jewels nearly opened on Randall Road. That's nice. Obviously, uh, most of the attention's been the uh, southwest portion of our town where the Thornwood developments occurred. Uh, it's occurring pretty much like we thought it would. It's bringing a whole new housing stock to South Elgin and, and bringing a whole new uh, new atmosphere, if you will, to South Elgin, a new focus to South Elgin. It really is. Now, you had hoped on the older east side to to have, to have use some of the buildings that are there for different types of things, but that that's kind of something that you'll work on for a while or, or well, hopefully. I think it's something we're working on, but we're looking at, and one of the things that's brought people all the woodwork again, which is pretty much my job there. Love is okay. yeah. is, <laughs> He's got that little whip. Move along, will ya? Is to bring, uh, we've talked about some of the problems we have on the east side with traffic and things, and we were looking towards, you know, after Rain the Road, I, I would anticipate our next large push for economic development would be along the Route 25 corridor as, as that area ex expands and grows. Which I would think. Well, it certainly is exciting, and uh, in the decade of the 90s has been tremendous for uh, South Elgin. You'll be able to work w w with Elgin on, on like the border. Uh, that Elgin and South Elgin will have because Elgin's always expanding. So you guys almost have to work closely together for that far west plan, do you not? I, I think so, but I think we, we've had in the past some preliminary or handshake, if you will, agreements on boundaries. I think some of that line is moving, so I think there's going to be a little period here of, a, of adjustment and maybe uh, trying to see where, where Elgin winds up and where South Elgin winds up. And I think. All right, but your neighbors work out pretty well, and, and that's, uh, that's wonderful. That's exciting news. Anything else you want to tell us? I just came News along for the ride. We, I yeah. came along for the ride. You're you're along. Well, you're having a wonderful time. I know you get plenty of uh, press, so that's good. <laughs> Some of it. <laughs> I've actually had to go through two. I don't know if I told you this. I've gone through two agents because he gets all the ink in the local papers. Well, I was telling you, you got to pick agents that are over 18. <laughs> oh, I guess uh, that'll be a court case to follow on court TV. <laughs> so be careful with that. Well, Rick, we certainly do appreciate you being with us, and, and you were quite good with the questions. Can I ask one to Gary off stage? All right, I will. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, how many savings and loans are existing currently in South Elgin? Gary Hyman off stage, one of your trustees of the village of South Elgin. Three. Three? Well, according to the South Elgin Economic Development, they have savings and loan none. <laughs> See? Well, there's three in Can the Can we words. take your word for it? When is your term up? <laughs> All right, well, let's turn the calendar quickly. So you really had, you had no, no Y2K problems? We didn't have any Y2K at all? Not that I'm aware of. You're very progressive. That's good. And in Elgin, they didn't have any Y2K either. And, uh, and that was they exciting. They no Y2K or no Y2K problems? No Y2K problems. Well, y, it was made up. Uh, you might as well hear the whole story. Liz and I sat down about a year ago. Let's make up something that might happen to start the century. <laughs> we made up the Y2K. And it killed on so good. Yeah, it really did. Nothing happened, did it? It was just a phrase we didn't even know what it meant. We just threw yeah. it out. Because I asked my mom, what's Y2K mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's a little older. Well, should have copywritten it. Yeah, I really, well, just like your T-shirt, apparently. <laughs> well, we, we appreciate that. Uh, let's see if I can get you out on one of these great questions here, because we're having so much fun with this, aren't we? What was your population in 1980 in South Elgin? Did you live in South Elgin in 1980? Yes, I did. In 1980 or 1990? 90, 90, I know it was 74-74, but 80, I have no idea. That's right, 74-74 is correct in 90. Wow, very good. Right? <laughs>
It is incredible. <laughs> Get the check out. Congratulations. We'll even put our party hat on. <laughs> Rick Zerk got one right. <laughs> I'm surprised too. Well, that's good. Well, we, well, again, we're always delighted when you're here. And uh, you know, these city officials don't <laughs> have time for all these. Do you, have, do you have a snap before we go to break? We have barnyard oddities warming up. Troy in the group. Do you have a snappy impression or anything for oh, us? Well, not me. You're the impression man. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Again, See, from every time I'm here, you seem to work yourself into some. No, of not no. <laughs> yeah, I fired that agent. <laughs> it's not true. Well, well, thanks for being out here. Okay. Thank you. Rick Zerk, guest All announcer, right. right here. Coming away. 74, 74. That was good. That there was he is. Good. He looks proud. We have got a wonderful, the biggest piece orchestra band we've ever had that in the history of Jeff's had. Place, right yeah. here. Coming away, right after we take this Jeff's Place time out. All right, yeah, we're right, back we're just there. like that. Oh, what a crowd we have. We have got a studio full of musicians. Oh, that was fun. Which mom always said, don't let that happen, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have Barnyard Oddities. We're going to take a look at it here. Uh, they are uh, an Elgin group, mm -hmm. and they're going to see the heck of that. Look at the good-looking group there. There's, there's Troy, Troy Wave. <laughs> Troy, Troy's not trouble, but watch out when he's out in traffic. We also have Ken. Ken, uh, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. There. And we've got Lou, a good friend Lou on the drums. Lou, Lou how are you? Lou, Lou. We present Barnyard Oddities. Hey! Woo. There you have it. And also, this being a very live on tape show, as you know, we were just handed this card. Yes. Apparently the Titanic's in trouble. We were just <laughs> handed this card. I'm always the last to know. <laughs> we were at, but Gary Hyman, who takes care of uh, the South Elgin River Fest, the booking of uh -huh. later this summer. They are going to have barnyard oddities appear at River Fest 2000. Yay! Yeah. Hey! Very good. Right there. And he hasn't even heard a word or a toot that they would play, for heaven's sake. No, that's good. He, he and, knows of the folklore of their album. And they don't even have an agent, Joe. That's right. That's right. Do you guys have an agent? Jimmy Ken, Ken's going to speak to us. Ken, Ken, what's your last name? Uh, Red Force. Red Force. Remember that Star Trek episode that talked about Red Force? Yes. Yes. May the Red Force, Red Force be with you. And Ken, tell me about uh, BYO you like to be called. Is that right? Right. For How long have you guys been together? Uh, me and Troy have been playing for a couple years now. And we got Lou sitting in for us for our normal d drummer, John Morozik. He's uh, graciously enough came by on loan from a friend of ours band. Is this Lou? This is like Woodstock 3. Is this Lou's first public appearance right. as a drummer? Right. Congratulations. Oh, wow. with, uh, with us. With, with us. you guys. Well, of course, he's a seasoned veteran, but it's like <laughs> the Crosby, Stills, Nash, and or Young kind he of. He was the young one. Yes. Well, congratulations. You guys have uh, you uh, put out a lot of uh, work. The, your album, which you graciously supplied to us here. It's our second one. Actually. Second album. I'm, sorry, I'm always a little behind in my rock music. Huh? <laughs> Why is that, uh, Ken, do you think? My age? Uh, but we have hip to me. You know, thank you. I like that these kids want to be booked again. Forget the River Fest. <laughs> Jeff, he said hippie, not hippie. Oh, well, you know, and longer hair. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys record. I want to, before you play one of your great selections, you're going to play. Don't warm up too soon, Ken. <laughs> we have standby musicians ready to go if you get out of line. <laughs> we really do. You are going to play Hypnotize for us. Is that right? Correct. Your own creation? Yes. In honor of David Letterman. Is that right? You got it. Oh, oh my. That's cool. Maybe next time you come by, you could perhaps have a song for another host or two. Wouldn't that be Colin nice? Colin O'Brien? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be Regis again. Jerry Springer? Yeah, Jerry Springer. I think we already got one of those. Yes, you guys are too quick. <laughs> Troy, you'll be pointed at when you need to talk. <laughs> well, you, you perform at what studio do you put all your music together? Uh, we got some good friends at Delta 9 Studio that's been helping us out. And they got a website. It's www.delta9.com. Uh, I think we can show that on the screen because we're we're pretty much high tech. All right. Uh oh, there oh. it goes. Look out! We're so high tech that we're gone. www.delta9studio.com. Okay, Ken, uh, you can read that nine three one seven three eight four, and it's right there on South Street, right at the split between South and Walnut. Right. That is you guys right there. That was pretty technically strong, don't you think? Definitely. Definitely. All right. Well, with we, a big ado, and that's. Uh, Pete is the man in charge out there, and it's a, a lot of uh, area groups right. record there. Is that right? A lot of, lot of different styles, country, western, rap. He's got everything in there. That's great. There's a variety, then. Definitely. Because our city of Elgin is loaded with musical talent. Is that, is that the correct phraseology? Underappreciated. Appreciated. Music underappreciated talent. musical not talent. There's a lot of places to play in Elgin to play original music. Yes, well, we, yeah, we did. Do. Well, thank you. Uh, Troy was uh, proud to be here, he's telling us right now. That's yeah, thank, you, thank you very much. much. That's no problem. That's no problem. No payola here. Thank you. <laughs> what we also found out is not only do we have lots of musicians in town, we also have per capita more talk show hosts than the other city. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ironic twist. <laughs> so if you do have an event where you need a talk show host, just call us. 
One eight hundred talking guy. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna get ready. <laughs> we're gonna get ready for. All right, thank you, boy, Lou. That first public appearance is just as smooth as we had thought. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Lou, now they say Lou. Let's see Lou one more time. They say he looks like me. Is that right, Lou? You're supposed to look like me. We're darn handsome men. <laughs> yeah, we really are. You. It's we, almost scary. Isn't it, it really <laughs> is. We went the water cooler together, we did, and they were starting to talk about it. So we, were so, I know, we were like brother and brother meeting for the first time in many uh, generations. Okay, well, that's haunting, Lou. It certainly is. Uh, <laughs> for which one of you? Uh, I would only hope that Sergi could take care of some of that. Okay, we got to get to this song, don't we? This is entitled what again? It's Hypnotized. And you guys did it? Right. And it's, of course, the backyard, uh, barnyard, I'm sorry. I was thinking another venue you're at. Barnyard Oddities, right here on Just Place. Take it away, guys. <laughs> Take it from you, ain't gonna take it, no. 
time, hypnotize. Hey, Very man. Nice. That is really some good. reverberation right here I haven't felt in many a year. <laughs> the doctor says I'm all right. <laughs> nice going, fellas. <laughs> Wonderfully done. Very nice. Yes. Are you all right, Troy? I'm fine. All right, I thought so. Just Ken? Grab my head. Yeah, good. Ken, you're okay? Yep. All right. Well, the uh, that is incredible. It's warmish. It's warmish. It's warm in here. We, we always keep it warm. Every time we have musical groups in, we import heat. <laughs> now, you guys would play at what venues? Ken, where would we see you all the time? Besides Future Riverfest, of course. Is uh, it? As of the moment, we don't have any uh, books gig besides the Riverfest, but uh, we just we have a brand new drummer that recorded the CD with us. Yeah, he's done two CDs. Lou was telling me his life history. Earlier. Uh, Isn't that actually Lou's different? Oh, Lou's different. Oh, well, I know, but we won't go into that. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like your typical rock star coming to your town, kids. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, Lou's different. I like that. We should have at least every weekend. Well, yeah, you really should be working very, in a well, very near future. And we know how to contact you. Troy, are you conducting this interview? No. <laughs> we want to thank the people at Gibson. We want to make a blatant plug. Yeah, Dave okay. And Scott. Free All right, you got. And Shane with Trace Elliott. All right, good job. So you, they, they helped you out with some of the yes. equipment. And can you see that drum? Let me see if I can see the drum because I've, I've learned that one thing about the uh, drum. Can we see that one more time? Down below on the drummer there with Lou. I realize if I go anywhere, I can now pack an overnight travel kit. You oh, can't yeah. see it real well, but what do you guys got in there? It looks like a change of your wardrobe there, Lou. It is, actually. Is it? Well, <laughs> why not showcase it to the audience? You know, they're so efficient. Yeah. Yes, they really are. Change of wardrobe in every drum. Yeah, Boy. You know, yes. Yeah. Lou's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little different. Okay. Well, let's hope that this leads to, uh, because obviously in, in previous times, tell me some of the places, the venues that you've played. Oh, geez. The Metro, the Vic. Oh, the Vic. The Vic uh, Theater? Avalon. Lots, all the big places mm. in Chicago. Oh, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, well, you have, well, congratulations on that. I know you'll be out to those many. I know Troy's always looking for good things, so it is uh, Barnyard Oddities coming to the Vic and other places near you. You have prepared something especially for the Jeff's Place audience. All right, we're going to swing a little bit. You're going to swing? Okay, we, well, the top won't go off, will it, uh, Ken? Well, usually most of the music we play is a little heavier. We're toning it down a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> they know that I have my grand at home, and she always goes, I'm going to put my teeth in now. <laughs> so, you know, that works. It's actually my mom. I'm not showing my age. So you you are going to get us to the break. Lou, are you okay? I know you're a little different. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. I want to keep Lou. He's been known to go crazy at times, kids. Crazy Lou. Yeah. So you prepared something to get us to the break. So you're going to take us yep. right to the break. Barnyard Oddities right here in this edition of Just Plays. Take it away, guys. <laughs> Hey, and we're back once again. Yep. Oh, boy, the, my earlobes are still going like that. Boy, what a great, like. what a great musical group. They are. The Barnyard Oddities are. I forgot this. to ask them how they got their name like that. I'm, Lou's going to come out at the end because Lou is doubling for me in many markets. If you're if you're seeing this video in some markets, you know Lou stands in for me in some of those. So he's going to come out. We're once again going to compare snozzes. facial features. Facial features. I and can't say looks, that. I wish I could. And who looks more like Clark? I, I don't know, my dear. Hey, we, we had, uh, you know, Matt DiStefano is one of our fine cameramen. He's actually working the camera that you're not seeing him, but he's showing me. That's Matt DiStefano. This is incredible television like that. Matt on that side. Matt is, uh, he works for, well, not now. Matt's not on that camera. They throw me a curve. But Matt is an intern at mm -hmm. WEPS. He's an Elgin High student. Oh, you're And he does, he does the sports on uh, Monday and Friday mornings on 88.9. Oh, and also good. does games. In fact, on Tuesday the 18th against Streamwood, Matt's mm -hmm. handling this camera now. Four o'clock, isn't it? Four o'clock, his good friend Mike Wood and Matt DiStefano. Matt's got the play-by-play. -play. Matt's just doing color. <laughs> uh, they will present a tape delay of that game because that's what EPS does. What we did, big anniversary upcoming as we do this on January 13th. A lot yes. of fun going on. So we went out, got a chance to, we'll just go right to the radio scene and we're going to show you right now what it looks like as Jeff's Place went on the road.
For the past 11 years, Carolyn Brandes has been program director for the oldest educational radio station in the state, Elgin's WEPS. Jeff's place dropped by the station because an important anniversary is approaching. Thursday, January 13th is WEPS's 50th anniversary. We're going to have an open house here in this area from 4 to 7 p.m. It's in old, we're in Old Elgin High School, room 201. We're actually across the gym balcony, the old big gym. And uh, we've been here ever since 1950. Not the radio station. I haven't been here since 1950. <laughs> I'm not quite that old. <laughs> but, but you have been here 20 plus years on your own, have you not? Yes, I have. I've been here 22 years and I plan on retiring next June. Oh, no. What would the radio station do without you? I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I'm, I have been typing up notes for the next person on what to do when, and there's a lot of things. I'm classified really as a secretary. I type and I file. The rest of this, I produce programs. I call various places looking for free programs that are good, that can relate to the school district, or to parents of uh, that have children in our school district. After we talked with Carolyn, we kind of wandered the hallways of WPS, and kids, you know what this is? <laughs> Vinyl. This is an album. This goes back to my days. Fabian. Fabian Forte to you and I. Fabian. That's just an example. A wonderful singer. Ask mom about him. As we sneak around the hallways, WEPS, happy birthday. And you're listening to WEPS in Elgin. Our next program is Jazz Connection. Yes! A legal ID! I'm a radio ID on television. We're bringing drummer Lou Foster out because he's my double, Lou, body Lou. double Lou Foster. You kids at home, yes. Come here, Lou. What do you think? You can see an 800 number on the bottom of your screen, can't Remarkable. you? Remarkable. Remarkable. Get the profile. Yeah, get the profile. Look this way. <laughs> Look this way. Just like, remember when we had that lineup down at the police facility? Yeah. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> Lou Foster. Body double, see us on tour. We'll be at the River Fest, won't we? Yes, we well, will. Lou, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you, sir. The group was tremendous, and your initial uh, Woodstock the third airing was tremendous here as well. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate you it. You represent, Troy did well. Troy's yes. still here. We say hello to Ken. And also, Mr. Zirk, of course, again. Try to take us apart. We're coming to your house. We have got the just in time. We've got it all to do. We can be here. Oh, 